Hello everyone. We will continue the topic BAPI. And in the previous videos, we finished with the function module part. We finished with the business object part. Now the question comes, is our BAPI ready for test? Can external system get the access of our BAPI? Answer is no because it depends upon the status. So now we will learn what are the various types of status and depends upon that our topic will proceed further. And again, so many important points will be covered in this video. So we have four types of status. Before we talk about the status, we will talk about the status for the full business object or and we will talk about the status of individual components also suppose simple this is your business object it is internal identification of business object this is external identification of business object we will talk about the status of business object and we will talk about the status of individual components also. Individual components means interfaces, attributes, methods, events. At this point of time, we only worked on methods. So we will talk about the status of two things, business object and what is the status of individual components also. And once the topic will proceed, Many people ask the question, why we have two separate status? Why the status for individual components? Why the status for full business object also? Slowly, slowly, when the topic will proceed, we will come on to the answer. So we will discuss, we have four types of status for business object and business object component. So what are those four types of status? Firstly, we will study the status. The first status is modeled, modeled. What is the meaning of model status? Whenever you are defining the things at that time, the status is modeled, modeled. It means whenever you are defining the business object and whenever you are defining the components of the business object, components means method, interfaces, attributes, events so whenever you are defining the things at that time the status is modeled modeled now now we will come on to implemented word itself is saying this means the business object or bida and the business object components fully functionality implemented it means you implemented the thing if logic is required, you have written the logic. You implemented them fully. But if the status is implemented, it is only only ready for the internal testing. You cannot use for external testing. Other system cannot access that. If the status is implemented, you can only do the testing internally means you can only only test in the SAP system. So what is the meaning of implemented? It means you implemented. You have written the logic. If something else is required, you have done all those things. But you can only only test internally. Now we have third type of status released released. What is the meaning of release status? It means your business object and business object component fully implemented, yes. And once it is released, the external application can access. It is clearly mentioned, can be invoked from the external application. So just remember, whenever your external application is accessing, just check status should be released. It should be released else it cannot invoke and in the third point itself once it is released 
after that only the entry will be in bappi explorer in the first when we covered the introduction of bappi at that point we covered when the bappi will be ready you can check in the bappi explorer will once will the pro topic will proceed you will automatically understand how to check in bappi explorer but once it is released after that only the entry will be in bappi explorer now the fourth type of status is obsolete obsolete means yes it is obsolete it cannot be used yes now we will go for again revision we have four types of status first one model model means whenever you are defining the things it means it is modeled second implement it means whatever the functionality is there you implemented and you can only only go for internal testing it cannot be invoked from the external system now if the status is released yes it can be invoked from the external system at that point of time only and after release we can check into bappi explorer bappi explorer if i will make you more closer the transaction code for the bappi explorer is bappi we can check into bappi transaction code if the status is released we cannot use now i will show you as of now what is the current status firstly i will double click on to a business object this is internal identification this is external identification and just check what is the status as of now modeled it means we just define the business object now if i will go for the status of this method method means component business object component if i will double click you can check the status by simply double click if i will double click you can see what is the status implemented now people will ask why the status is implemented for the component for the component just see you attach the function module do you have the logic in the function module yes that's why it is implemented that's why it is implemented now what we will do this component has the status implemented can we do the internal testing of this method within sap system yes because what is the meaning of implemented what is the meaning of implemented yes it means you can do the internal testing within the sap system so what we will do we will put the cursor here as of now business object business object is modeled we will make the business object implemented so that we can test just see how we will make it implemented put the cursor here go for edit change release status and are you able to see two things object type object type component and we have four types of status two modeled two implemented two released to obsolete object type component to model to implement it to released to obsolete so we will go to change mode this individual component is already already in the implemented state so what we will do we will make this business object as implemented because as of now this is modeled so how we will make it implement i will simply put the cursor i will go to edit change release status just see the important important change will come here we will get a test button here after that only as of now just see there is no test button as of now i'll put the cursor edit change release status object type to implemented now just see are you able to see a test button here previously this button was not there 
when the status was modeled for the business object because we studied yes if the status is implemented only after that we can go for the testing we can go for the testing now you can see we have the test button if i will click on to test button you can see what is the method name what is the method name create what is the method name create whenever i will double click on the method so behind the method we have the function module we have the function module just see we will do the internal testing as of now so we will do the internal testing as of now so i will simply go to the program i'll put a breakpoint because this is our logic so that you can understand fully or you can directly put the breakpoint from here also it's your wish how you want to go now we will test this internally that is it working fine or not i will just go for test this is our method i will go for executing the method i will go for opening this suppose i want to insert employee id 5 suppose name is save say do the i will go for back button now i will simply execute and i already put the breakpoint so it will stop there i will go to desktop 3 have you seen this is our program which got generated this is our input which we passed you can see it is our logic which we have written in the function module this is the employee id this is the employee name which we gave we are passing it to work area from the work area we are putting it to this into this table and you can see size sub rc is zero size sub rc zero means it is successfully inserted so we will get this particular message and you can see we got this particular message so now our BAPI is ready for the internal testing because the status is implemented check in the table that entry gone or not i will go to sc11 transaction code so this is the table which we created yes I will go to the contents of the table. I will execute the table. Is this what we entered? Yes, it is working fine. Now we will do the negative testing also. We will try to insert 5 again. But 5 is the primary key of the table. So it will not insert again. If I am executing again, you can see it again try to insert 5 into the table now it is trying to insert 5 again if it's trying to insert 5 again you can see size sub rc is other than 0 other than 0 now it will go to else part and it will give the error message now you can see we are getting the error message so we tested the BAPI internally internally and why we are able to test because we change the status to implement so what is the summary of the video in this video we studied we have four types of status status for business object status for business object component also so now we have four types of status modeled means you only only defined the things implemented means you implemented you did the full functionality but you can only do the internal testing means within the sap then we have released once the status is released yes you can check into bapi transaction code which is for bapi explorer and after that only it is used or invoked by the external system fourth is obsolete obsolete means it cannot be used then what we did we simply simply check the status of business object and business object component 
once we change the status to implement after that only we got the test button and how we change the status edit change release status we only change the status of business object or you can say object type component is already implemented so we have not changed the status and we did the internal testing of the BAPI. In the next video, we will move on to a further type of status. That's it in this video. Thank you.